William Edward Boeing was an American. A little more than a month later, Boeing changed the name from Pacific Aero Products Company to Boeing Airplane Company and obtained orders from the U.S. Navy for 50 planes. At the end of the war, Boeing began to concentrate on commercial aircraft. He secured contracts to supply airmail service, and built an airmail operation and later passenger service that evolved into United Airlines. In 1921, Boeing married Bertha Marie Potter Paschel. She had previously been married to Nathaniel Paschel a real estate broker with whom she had two sons, Nathaniel Paschal Jr. and Cranston Paschal. The couple had a son of their own, William Boeing Jr. The stepsons went into aviation manufacturing as a career. Nat Paschal was a sales manager for competitor Douglas Aircraft, which later became McDonnell Douglas. Bill Jr. became a private pilot and industrial real estate developer. Bertha Potter Paschal Boeing was the daughter of Howard Cranston Potter and Alice Kershaw Potter. The name Boeing is anglicized from the German name Boeing, and had Welsh origins as a patronymic from Owen. In 1929, Boeing joined with Frederick Rentschler of Pratt & Whitney to form United Aircraft and Transport Corporation. The new grouping was a vertically integrated company with interests in all aspects of aviation, intending to serve all aviation markets. In a short time, it bought a host of small airlines, merging them with Boeing's pioneering airline under a holding company, United Airlines. In 1934, the United States government accused William Boeing of monopolistic practices. The same year, the Air Mail Act forced airplane companies to separate flight operations from development and manufacturing. William Boeing divested himself of ownership as his holding company, United Aircraft and Transport Corporation, broke into three separate entities. He began investing most of his time in his horses in 1937. Boeing Airplane Company, though a major manufacturer in a fragmented industry, did not really become successful until the beginning of World War II. Between 1935 and 1944, William Boeing and his wife Bertha set aside a large tract of land north of the Seattle city limits for subdivision, including the future communities of Richmond Beach, Richmond Heights, Innes Arden, Blue Ridge, and Shoreview. He then spent the remainder of his life in property development and thoroughbred horse breeding. Concerned about the possibility of World War II battles in the Pacific Northwest, he purchased a 650-acre farm in the countryside east of Seattle. The estate remained in the family until most of the land was sold and developed into a golf course in 2001. Several acres, however, 
remained in the family, including the Boeing Zone and two smaller houses. His primary residence for most of his life, however, was a mansion in the Highlands community close to Seattle. The William E. Boeing House was later listed on the National Register of Historic Places. Boeing Creek running near this property bears his name. William Boeing died on September 28, 1956, at the age of 74, three days before his 75th birthday.